Hi everybody, welcome back once again. It's time to do some yoga. Unroll your mat, grab some props if you'd like to use them, a couple of blocks, a strap or something like that. Don't worry if you don't have it, we can certainly work around it. I'll give you a few seconds to get that stuff and I'll see you right back here. Let's begin in child's pose, coming onto your hands and knees. Separate the knees a little wider than the hips. Let your toes touch together. And of course you can go for the gentle shoulder opener with both arms reaching forward. Or if you prefer, you can reach arms back behind you. Let yourself take a, a moment or two just to Decompress, settle into space, and maybe shift a little in the hips or try to soften the shoulders a little more away from the ears. All right, using this time as the calm before the storm, so to speak, just to breathe. And even though we are moving in our practice, we're still setting the stage for finding stillness in the body. Stillness and calm in the mind. Maybe firing up your ujjayi breath if you're feeling a little on the chilly side as we begin. This is definitely the time of year to get the breath fired up. Let's take about three more deep breaths right here. And with both arms reaching forward, if they aren't already, Walk your fingertips to the right side of the mat. Keep your hands and fingertips on the mat. Place your left hand on top of the right. Let yourself kind of shift very slightly toward the left side. It's almost going to feel like your body doesn't move. More of an energetic shift so that as you deepen the breath, you feel the ribs open up through the left side body. And take one more full breath. Returning your hands back through center. Now walk your hands to the left side of the mat, keeping hands, fingertips on the mat. Your right hand settles on top of your left. So again, just very, very slightly shifting toward the right just enough until you feel the right side body open up. Take another full breath. Return your hands back through center. Come up onto hands and knees. Bring the knees just slightly in so they're underneath your hips. And you can tuck or untuck the toes, doesn't really matter which here. Walk your fingertips toward your knees as you round, almost as if you were standing, right? The same idea of rounding up as you stand on your knees. Lift up, chest up, 
head up nice and slow because sometimes if you come up too fast you get a little lightheaded. so slow turn the palms out inhale sweep the arms around then as you exhale, reach the arms back, interlace fingers, reach the arms over as your head, your forehead lowers toward the mat. And when your head lowers down, let the arms continue reaching overhead, just to a comfortable spot. Doesn't have to be super deep. Then let your hands relax toward the mat, slide the arms forward, come up onto hands and knees. Walk your hands back to the knees, roll up slow. We're gonna do that two more times. Rounding up, palms out, inhale, sweep the arms around. Arms back, change the grip as you interlace fingers and the arms reach over as the forehead softens all the way to the mat, lowers down, arms overhead. Again, doesn't have to be a super big stretch, just a little wake up. Hands, arms toward the mat. Walk the fingertips all the way out front. Come back to hands and knees. Last time, walk your fingertips toward the knees. Roll up slow. Rounding up, head up. Turn the palms out. Inhale the arms around. Arms back, interlace fingers. Change the grip again. Arms up, overhead, head down, forehead to the mat. Let your hands and fingertips reach to the mat. The arms sweep forward. Come onto your hands and knees. This time we come to downward facing dog. Lift the hips up and back. Yeah, and of course in your first down dog, feel free to walk out your feet. Stretch out your legs and of course, please modify your practice today as it makes sense. Stay with the breath. Take one more full breath right here. With a soft bend in the knees, look forward, step or float your feet to the front. Fold over the legs when you get there with your feet slightly separating hang over the legs, then roll up slow to stand. Press down, uncurl, come up, stand tall, shoulders down, inhale, sweep the arms around, exhaling as you dive, arms back, interlace fingers again, stretch the arms overhead, head down, let your hands and fingertips reach to the mat, lift your chest, step the left foot back in low lunge. Lower the left knee, Ardha Hanuman, half split. We're holding for a full breath in. Holding for a full breath out. Rebending up at the right knee, let's down dog, press back. Big inhale, take it forward to plank. You can chaturanga or drop the knees. Inhale to your back bend, cobra or up dog, good. Down dog or child's pose. Let's give it three deep breaths. One more full breath. And from your down dog, let's lift the right leg high. Put a bend in the knee, open the hip, relax the head down. Level out the hips, step to low lunge, bring your foot through the hands. Step all the way to the front, fold over the legs and round. Big inhale, sweep the arms around. Lift up, reach overhead. Exhale, dive again, arms back, interlace fingers, change the grip again, opposite pinky finger in on top, head down, hands, fingertips to the mat, chest up, right leg back in low lunge, lower the right knee, half split, Ardha Hanuman, we're straightening the left leg, holding for a full breath in, full breath out. Bending up again at the left knee, down dog, press back. Big 
Inhale, roll into your plank. Chaturanga or modify. Inhale, back bend. Good. Exhale, down dog or child's pose for another three deep breaths. One more. From your down dog, we'll lift the left leg, bend the knee, open the hip, head down. Level the hips, low lunge, step through. Step all the way to the front and fold over the legs. Bring your feet together, toes, heels touch, Utkatasana, arms high. Knees back slightly, so if you were to peek down, you can see your toes, chest up, maybe eyes up between the hands. One more deep breath in. Exhale, fold, head down. Send your left leg back, low lunge. Warrior one, Virabhadrasana, heel down. Press down and bring it up. We'll interlace the fingers overhead, press the palms high. As your palms press up, the shoulders move down, and the right hip back slightly, just to make sure we're not completely opening up toward the left, making sure your right knee tracks over the right heel. Let's take it out to warrior two. Arms out, look over the right middle finger. We'll hold for another full breath. We'll take star pose to the left. You'll straighten both legs as you lift the arms, face the left side. You can angle the toes out at 45 degrees, right and left. Take warrior two to the back. Pivot the left toes to the back. The right toes turn in slightly. Deep bend in the left knee. Look over the left middle finger. We'll reverse the warrior, sweeping the left arm over. Let's half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Reach the left arm out, use a block if you like. Float the right leg high, lift the right arm high. Take your time as you set up. Working into any variations if you choose. When you can, you'll look to the right, maybe peek up one more time. Good. Lower your right hand, lower both hands to the inside of your left foot. Step your right foot back on the mat, almost like you're coming into lizard pose. We'll travel to the right, coming into our wide-legged fold. So going back the same direction we came, we're gonna pause here and hold as we hang over the legs, readjust the feet so they're parallel to each other. If you like the shoulder opener, you can continue interlacing fingers behind the back, stretching arms overhead, or you can just lower your hands to the mat or anything else you're working on. We'll hold here for another full breath. We meet in the center with hands down, chest up, low lunge to the front. Walk the hands around. When you get to your low lunge at the front, lower the left knee, back knee. Ardha Hanuman, we straighten the front leg. We'll give it another full breath in. Hold for the full breath out. Rebending up at the right knee. Down dog, press back. You can hold it here or flow through your plank chaturanga. We'll lift the right leg, bend the knee, open the hip, head down. Level the hips, bring your knee to the nose and round it in. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale, low lunge, step through. Step all the way to the front, fold over the legs, bring your feet together. Utkatasana chair. Sitting deep, shoulders down, eyes up. One more deep breath in. And exhale, dive over the legs. Send your right leg back in low lunge. Warrior one, Virabhadrasana, spin the heel down and lift. 
interlace the fingers overhead, press the palms up again, changing the grip each time. So each time the opposite pinky finger sits on top. Looking up if you can, lining up the left knee over the heel one more time. Open up warrior two, reach out, look over the left middle finger, one more breath. We'll take star pose, go to the right, straighten the legs, lift the arms, angle the toes as we transition to warrior two at the back. Look over the right middle finger, make sure the alignment is clean so the right toes are pointing to the, to the back of the room. Your left toes turn in slightly to make it easier on your left hip. Reverse warrior, sweep the right arm over. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon, reach the right arm out. Use a block if you like, under the right hand. Lift up, come up, deep breaths. When you can, when you're stable, you look left, you look up, yes, nice focus. One more time. Transitioning out, lower your left hand, lower both hands inside the right foot. Step your left toes back on the mat. Travel to the left. Going back the way we came, readjust your feet, keep the feet wide apart, Prasarita Pada Tadasana. Again, you can lower the hands, you can go for the shoulder opener, arms overhead, grab toes, whatever suits you here. Soften the shoulders, keep the breath strong one more time. We'll all meet in the center with hands down, chest up, low lunge to the front, walk your hands around to opposite sides of the left foot. Lower your back knee on the mat, Ardha Hanuman, straighten the left leg, holding for a deep breath in, good. Holding for a deep breath out. Rebending up at your front knee, return to down dog. Hold or flow. Good, one more time. From your down dog, we'll lift the left leg high. With your exhale, bring the knee to the nose, round it in. Inhale the left leg up. Exhale, low lunge, step through. Step all the way to the front and fold over the legs. Keep your feet hip width distance. Let's Padangustasana, grab the big toes in Yogi Tolak. Lift the chest on the inhale. Then exhale, round. Head down, sit bones up, and of course, modify in ragdoll if that better suits you today, holding hands to opposite elbows. One more full breath. With your next inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, releasing out your toes, bring hands to the waist with a flat back, press up slow to stand. We'll do some tree pose into standing hand to toe pose. So I'll do this facing you just to, just in case that makes it a little easier for you. Shift your weight first to the left leg and turn your right toes out. Find your drishti past the end of the nose and step the right foot inside the left leg above or below your knee. Bring the prayer to the heart, tailbone down, chest up. And when you're ready, you'll inhale the arms up, separating the hands. And you can hold it here if you wanna keep with the theme we've been doing in Warrior One with interlacing fingers and pressing the palms up. Feel free to do that too, option. 
relaxed, the palms press up, the shoulders move down. You're welcome to stay right here in your tree. If you'd like to do the add-on with the hand to foot pose, release your left hand onto the waist, grab your big right toe in yogi toe lock. Your standing leg remains solid wherever you are, chest up and you can hold here. The right knee can bend, all right, that's okay. Standing leg solid and if you're going for it, press your right heel out to the side. Yeah, good, and release your left arm out. Good, I love it. One more breath. We're meeting in tree pose, so the right foot against the inner left thigh, the prayer at the heart, return to stillness, lower the right leg, relax the arms, just stillness. Second side, you can bring hands to the waist or palms together, shift your weight to the right leg, now your left toes turn out. Finding your drishti, keep it focused, step the foot in, avoid the knee. Prayer to the heart. And when you're ready, press down the arms high, inhale. Separate the hands. Again, you're welcome to keep it right there or change the grip, interlace fingers, press the palms up. Keep breathing, keep it focused, and if you're staying here, great. If you're adding on, now the right hand rests on the waist, and you're grabbing your big left toe in yogi toe lock. Keep the standing legs solid, stand tall, and when you're ready, if you're going for it, your left heel extends out to the left side. If you're feeling fancy today, reach the right arm out. Good, one more time. Let's bring it back to tree. The left foot against the leg, the prayer to the heart. Lower the left leg, relax the arms. Stillness. Ooh. Bring the prayer to the heart. Actually, standing tall at the front of the mat. Feel free if you'd like to close the eyes for a moment or to keep them open, your choice. Just to take a moment, let the energy settle. Checking in with the breath. One more full breath. Opening up the eyes if they're not already open. Big inhale, sweep the arms around, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, dive right over the legs. Soften the hands and fingertips to the mat. We're lifting the chest. You can step it to plank. Lower the knees, lower all the way onto your belly. Reach both arms straight back behind you. Interlace fingers. Press the palms together and bring the feet, the legs together. Zip them up nice and tight. You can either rest with your chin on the mat or your forehead on the mat. Setting up Shalabhasana with your next inhale, lift everything up off the mat. The chest up, shoulders back, arms back. The shoulder blades kind of draw toward each other and you're either looking straight ahead or looking toward the floor in front of the mat. Keep the feet glued together, lift up one more inhale. Then exhale, lower down, release your hands and turn your head to the side. Hold for a deep breath in. Hold for a deep breath out. Bring your chin to center. One more back bend, yogi's choice. You can either do a second set of Shalabhasana or Dhanurasana bow pose by bending the knees, grabbing your feet. Bring the knees a little closer if you're doing Dhanurasana. Set yourself up, press down, inhale, lift. Yeah, lifting up, coming up. Soften the space between the eyebrows. One more, lift up, come up. And lower down, release, child's pose, shift back. 
Let's take two or three deep breaths. Let's come back to hands and knees. Sweep the feet around front. Actually, when you sweep the legs around front, bend up at your knees. Let's do a little Navasana. But we're gonna keep it a little bit easier since we just did the back bending. So that tends to make the Navasana a little bit more challenging. So we'll, we'll keep it easy. Keep your knees bending, bring the feet and the knees together, roll back slightly off the tailbone and lift the legs. Yeah. Breathe. Keep the chest up. Look toward your toes. Fire up the belly and take one more breath. Lower your feet, extend both legs out on the mat and just walk your hands out, reach for your feet, Paschimottanasana. Feel free to use a strap or belt if you like, or if the feet are still far away, you can just always let your hands rest on the shins. Soften the shoulders back, lengthen and hold for another deep breath or so. Good, releasing out, come all the way back upright and come into a cross-legged seat. Let's start with, um, let's start with the right ankle in front of the left. You can stay in Sukhasana, right? And reach the arms back, chest up and lean in, or you can walk your hands out or depending on how the joints are feeling, if you wanna take double ankle to knee, your Agni Stambhasana, Agni Stambhasana, Stambhasana, it's a mouthful. Take your right shin on top of the left, Agni Stambhasana. Lining up your ankle on the knee, knee on the ankle. You can, if your right foot falls short of the left knee, you can bring the foot over the knee, but make sure that it does not stay short of the, of the knee. Sit tall, same thing, either arms back, lean in, or walk the hands out if there's room. Yeah. Make sure the sit bones stay down. And let's hold for another full breath. Bring it back in, return upright. We'll switch the legs, bringing the left ankle in front. Again, you can set up Sukhasana and stay here as you lean in or walk the hands out or your fire log double ankle to knee. Left shin on top, same thing. Ankle to knee, knee to ankle, or slightly taking the foot across, All right? Working into the same variation if you can. This is one of those poses though where sometimes one side is drastically different than the other. So if it, if it doesn't look like the other side, that's okay. And let's hold for another full breath. Let's release out, return upright. Okay, unwrapping your legs, let's lower down onto the back. Feel free as we continue winding down. We're not, well, we're working towards winding down, not winding down quite yet. Lay back, feel free to hug the knees in, of course. And either letting yourself settle into Supta Baddha Konasana, Right, feet together, knees out, use blocks under the knees to support the hips if you prefer. Or going upside down, shoulder stand, headstand, 
Sarvangasana, Shirshasana. Take your time, move mindfully. And if you're in shoulder stand, maybe Halasana plow. Or any other variations you're working on today. slowly, mindfully releasing out. After coming out, settle into your counter stretch, either fish matsyasana on your back from shoulder stand or cobra bhujangasana on the belly. Or if you're in shirshasana headstand, you release in child's pose, balasana. I'm gonna use a block for fish because it's one of my favorite things ever. I love the supported variation. Feel free to enjoy the same. And taking another deep breath or so. coming out of your counter stretch. And settle back on your mat. Hugging the legs in, rock a little side to side. Happy baby if you choose any release that feels good as we officially start winding down. If there's any final stretch or anything you'd like to take, feel free to grab it here. Otherwise, you've earned it. Start settling back on the mat, extending out the legs. Separate the feet a little bit, turn the palms up. Maybe cover yourself with a blanket to avoid getting too chilly today as you rest. Close your eyes. Letting go of any ujjayi breathing, just settling back into the normal rhythms of breathing in the body. Letting the mind quiet. Embracing these few moments before returning to your day so your body has the opportunity to restore and recover. <laughs> 